接下来我们要跟大家分享的主题是跟真实世界结合，学习最终端的目标就是把知识运用在真实的生活当中，让学科知识从知道到做到，打破学校还有真实世界之间的界限。Next up, we're going to listen to four more stories about applying learning to the real world. Lele, do you know there are many great writers in Lebanon? Lebanon has an important place between the Arabic culture and the world. Yes, I know that. They also have great art and music too. Many tourists will also go there for skiing and mountain climbing. It is a beautiful country. However, more tourists bring more problems to the environment too. The waste disposal in Lebanon is getting worse now. I heard that some superheroes in Lebanon try to solve this problem in their school. They help the school to handle recycling. Let's welcome them with a warm applause. At Makassar Asia School, we're so lucky to be a part of the DFC project. After multiple discussions, meetings, and inspections, we ended up with the three issues that bothered us the most, and they were small steps make the change, Albia Albak, and Rainbow Children. They all fall under the big title, Global Goals. The project that I'll be telling you more about is. Small steps make the change. In our country, Lebanon, we have a waste management issue, and it's so sad when we watch the news and know that we are in the 21st century, and waste garbage represents a major problem in our country. Not to mention the pollution it causes to the environment and the diseases it spreads among people and animal animals. In case you don't know. This issue is becoming worse, and we hold ourselves responsible for trying to fetch a solution that could limit this problem. You wanna know how we managed to find numerous solutions? Well, 
We executed visits to the NTCC, a waste management company, and we had a great support and encouragement. And they really aided us by showing us the steps required to be followed to sort out waste and strategies to apply to manage this waste issue. Small steps make the change was and is still our slogan for this project. Small steps, we are the young generation who can dream big and make the change. Make the change? Oh yes, we can and we will. Our Our school, Aisha, comprises almost 100 teachers. And that means that our school uses approximately 250,000 pieces of papers annually. This, not to mention the students' handouts, worksheets, and assessment paper. That's why we sought to find a solution for this issue. In our little school community, Maqasad Aisha School, we announced that we will be collecting papers. And guess what? The head of the municipality in our local community heard about our story and was so supportive and decided to provide us with a container. Before we got the container, we wanted to put an extra container outside the school premises. But since the head of the municipality is a more experienced person, he advised us not to since all kinds of waste will be thrown in the container and not only paper products. Then a huge container was brought to our school and luckily the whole school was cooperating and aiding the project that is for the welfare of our school and the community around us. One of the memorable moments that stuck in our heads was when we had a photograph session with two professional young guys. It was very fun and interesting. They told us steps to follow to take a good photo and how to interview people and what kind of questions we might ask. An exhibition was held at Aisha School and everyone who supported this project and aided in some way came by to see the FC learners working on collecting the paper and cartoon from the classes and then disposing them in the big container. The people who came by, the families and the ones who supported this project listened to the FC learners and questioned them. They were impressed a lot and were very happy to see what these young learners can do. A sticker was also put on the container that mentions who worked on this project. It is worth noting that this project will be publicized to other schools near our school next year for the reason that the DFC learners believe that is a common problem that is facing almost everyone in our community. And what is more important is that whatever earnings we attain, we will be buying new trash bins in order to situate them in other schools in our city. Through this, the sustainability of our project will be better achieved and the earnings will multiply, hoping we, can, we could help the environment in many ways possible. Everyone here hearing my voice, I'm addressing you with a very serious problem of a very small country. It is something we should not close an eye on. Whatsoever, we are the change makers of this world. And oh yes, we can. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Now, we need to walk here. Everyone, welcome to three. Please say, 任务成功. 任务成功. 